Hey guys, welcome back to another effect. Today's effect is really cool. I like to use this a lot on my photos. So let's get to it. Go up to select color range. Boom, opens up this cool little window. Now grab your eyedropper and select the color you want. I want her shirt, so bam, have her shirt color selected. In this little window, the white area is showing you what is selected and the black area is showing you what is not selected. As you can tell, her shirt selected, which is what we want, but the background is also selected and we don't want that. So go over to your negative uh, eyedropper and select some area in the background. Bam. Oh, awesome. Got rid of it. No problem. So that looks really good. Um, and if you want to add more, hit that positive. And if you want to subtract more, hit the subtract. Simple. Now, fuzziness, I like to keep up really high because it smooths out the effect. If you pull it down, you kind of get a harsh, nasty feel. And I don't like that. So pump up that fuzziness. And the range you want to leave up as well because when you pull it down, it just gets rid of everything. So leave it up in like the 90s or the 100s. Click OK. Boom. Now this is going to show us what is selected. We have our shirt selected. That's awesome. We want to copy this. So hit Command C, copy. And then we want to paste Command V. Boom. We have a new layer. That's what the layer is looking like. It's a, it's a color layer. So let's go down to our background again and go up to Image, Adjustment, and hit black and white so we turn that background black and white BAM there you go we got the effect we want and that's looking pretty cool I really like this it's really simple really cool um, but if you want to make this look a little better let's go up to our top layer again and hit image adjustment hue and saturation uh, to make this effect pop I like to pump up the saturation there you go that's looking pretty cool that just really makes the colors pop and you can really tell the difference between everything else being black and white and the color you left being st still there. And if you don't want to stop here, you still want to mess around a little bit, you can also mess around with the hue. And you can completely change the color of the that you selected. So I can change your shirt to whatever color I want. I'll change it to green because that looks kind of cool. Uh, and there you go. Hit OK. And BAM! your effect is done i hope you guys use this and enjoy it all right catch you guys next time take care